Hey Savvy People, it's Savvy Nick here, and today I'd like to talk about an issue that I had with my Linux distribution that I'm currently using here, which is uh, Ubuntu, and uh, that some other people might be facing the same issue while using uh, OBS to record their screen and or playing video games on Ubuntu or other Linux distributions. The issue was that I had screen tearing or flickering on my screen, and just to show you what that looks like. I'll go ahead and put this video up. So this is something I recorded in the past that had some screen tearing while I was recording the screen. It really looked bad and was starting to become a little irritating. So I have a uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super graphics card. And when I first installed this Linux distribution here in front of me, I had to install the latest available NVIDIA graphics drivers for my Linux distribution which they were working great as soon as I got them and had them installed properly. It wasn't until I started recording that I noticed the issue of screen tearing popping up. And after reading some articles and trying to find a solution, I went ahead and changed up a few suggested settings in my NVIDIA graphics properties. So let's go ahead and launch that real quick so I can show you what that looks like. If you just type in NVIDIA, once you have your proprietary NVIDIA graphics driver installed for Linux, you'll have this option here for NVIDIA X server settings. Again, all I did was I just searched for it and uh, then opened it up. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of the settings that I went ahead and tried changing in order to get the screen tearing to go away. Uh, most of these did not work for me, but uh, in this X server display configuration, I have my screen here in front of me. You can see it's HDMI. Um, and then there's this little advanced option right here. So once you click that, uh, a lot of uh, people and articles suggested that uh, it would be uh, fixed by forcing this composition pi pipeline or to force the uh, full composition pipeline. I didn't actually have any luck with this. And as you can see here while highlighting it, it doesn't give you too much information about this. I didn't get to read much about it either, but it definitely did not do the trick for me. Now that's not to say that it might not work for you. So uh, these are some that you can definitely play with. I've heard that uh, other people have had success with this. And actually, if you hover over this one, you do get uh, some more information here about enabling this uh, composition pipeline. Uh, it talks about uh, transformations and uh, rotations that are applied to the screen. So it uh, seems to do something with those two. So that's, uh, those are two options that I tried. And then I went ahead into the OpenGL settings and uh, I made sure that my sync to uh, VBlink was selected and this was enabled by default. So that wasn't a problem for me either, but uh, you'll want to make sure that you do have that one selected as well. But uh, what ultimately did the trick for me is that I had this allow flipping actually enabled. And uh, once I went ahead and disabled it, so I unchecked it, it ended up fixing my issue of screen tearing. So uh, just to look at uh, allow flipping, uh, NVIDIA actually has a good uh, explanation of all their settings. And you can go ahead and find their manual here uh, under the Linux x86 64-bit literature. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below so you can read up more on settings if you would like to. Also make sure to take a moment and subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos. And if we read here uh, in this chapter 21, if we look under flipping, it says that uh, when OpenGL flipping is enabled, OpenGL can perform buffer swaps by changing which buffer is scanned out rather than copying the back buffer contents to the front buffer. So this might save you some time uh, exchanging between buffers and then it says this is generally a higher performance mechanism that allows for tearless swapping during the vertical retrace. Now, after reading a few other articles, um, I figured out that, that you can get a performance gain out of this, but it's really unnecessary if I can't do my normal everyday things like uh, recording or gaming without uh, screen tearing. So there might be a loss here by unchecking this option. You might lose some frames per second but I'll gladly take that for a fix on the screen tearing. So that's what really did it for me. But uh, the next issue I seem to run into is back in here. I went to reboot my computer and my screen tearing would come back after every reboot. So what I didn't realize is that I wasn't saving my graphics settings properly. I haven't really installed Linux or used it with uh, an 
NVIDIA graphics before, so this was all a little new to me, this uh, NVIDIA X server settings. I didn't realize that I wasn't making the settings permanent because there's no obvious way to actually save the settings, at least in this version of the settings. Uh, all I have down here is an help and a quit and an exit. So I would just quit out of here thinking that it would save the settings for me, um, which was my mistake, but uh, I can thank uh, Mac OS for that because most of the time when you exit, it just uh, it saves the changes that you made. But let me go ahead and show you how to uh, save in here. You probably already know this, but uh, just in case, I did find where it's saved. Uh, if you go to this X server display configuration where we were at the beginning, you can actually hit this save to X configuration file. And uh, what I figured out is that you needed to go ahead and save it in the Etsy X11 XOR.config file. So you can either type this in or browse for it. At least this works for my Ubuntu 19.04 distribution that I'm using here. Uh, yours might be a little different or it might be located in a different location. Um, generally, these are where the graphics properties are saved. So you can go ahead and overwrite them in order to take uh, your settings into effect permanently. If you're questioning whether or not that's where you need to actually save your settings, make sure to go ahead and look and make sure that it is in fact the place you need to save them for your particular Linux distribution by searching Google. And if you made it this far, please take a moment and hit the like button. It really does help me out. After I finally figured uh, this one out and uh, I hit save, I had to put my administrative password in, authenticate it, and then I could quit out. And uh, it says, do you really wanna quit? Yeah, because everything's saved this time. After all that, I was on my way to recording without any more flickering or tearing. This was uh, great. It just probably took a little bit too long for me to figure out. I did want to make this short video so that anyone else experiencing the issue, even though it might be a different setting that they have to change in order to fix their flickering or tearing, but a typical way of how to approach it. First, go to your graphics settings and uh, check those out. It's probably a parameter in there that needs to be adjusted. And it's definitely worth playing around with your uh, graphics settings to get them just right because once you do, your Linux experience is going to be just that much better. Also, it can be easy to miss small things like making sure to save your settings like I did to a file when there aren't obvious options to do so, at least in my opinion. Well, I hope you enjoyed this talk about Linux and screen tearing or flickering and uh, that it might have helped you potentially solve your own issue. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comments section below. Also make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.